it's me, John Fideliaga, and welcome back to my channel. Hi, my bags! Welcome back to our channel! And for today's video, nakita niyo naman sa title ng video na to, we are going to review the new Anastasia Beverly Hills collaboration with Alisa Edwards palette. I don't know about you, but after all the drama that's been going down to beauty community, Anastasia Beverly Hills and the Drag Race fave, which is Alisa Edwards, has entered the chat room to give us something to move on. Yes, Mom Bex, you've heard it. They've teamed up to make our lives a little bit better by launching the new eyeshadow palette. Now, so mga hindi nakakakilala kung sino si Alisa Edwards, Alisa Edwards is the beast of season 5's RuPaul Drag Race and syempre, sumali rin siya sa All-Star RuPaul's Drag Race. Diba? Now, hindi ko alam kung some of you already know about this, but contouring, cut creasing, and so many of today's makeup trends are heavily influenced by none other than the drag queens. Yes, mga bex, kaya lagi silang plakado, match the house down, and ang beauty community enhanced it. Sobra ang trend nito ngayon. Kaya naman in this video, titingnan natin kung ano ba talaga ang kinahype ng eyeshadow palette na to. Kaya naman mga bex, samahan nyo ako if this new Anastasia Beverly Hills Alyssa Edwards palette is Becky Fine or Becky Night. Kaya naman tama na mga chika chika. Let's go ahead at mag Becky na tayo. Okay mga Becky, ayan. So, um, ipapakita ko muna sa inyo yung mga nakuha ko. Pasensyahan nyo itong mata ko ngayon, okay? Kasi sisilaw ako. Oo, mahapdi yung mata ko. Ewan kung bakit. Okay, so mag-start muna tayo sa primer na nakuha ko. So this bad boy right here is retail for $23. So, my claims dito, sabi dito, water resistant eye primer in a light color base that creases the perfect canvas for matte and shimmer shadows and pressed pigments. It says here as well that this is a vegan and non comed And it's a non-comedogenic. Dermatologist tested, ophthalmologist tested, long-wearing, clinically tested, water-resistant, oil-free, alcohol-free, and gluten-free. Okay, very promising. I think this is the first eye primer sa kanilang brand. And let's see what's up inside. Uh, tama lang. Wala masyadong special. Mm -mm. And then, gumili rin ako nitong um, matte lipsticks nila. Sa sobrang excitement ko, na-purchase ko yung Alisa Edwards nang wala yung primer. Eh, kailangan maka-purchase ako ng almost at least $40 and up. So, kailangan binili ko to. I think this is new as well. I'm not just sure, okay? So, this is their matte lipstick. And they have four kinds of shades in here. And this is retail for $21 as well. I think about $40 US dollars and up. $6 lang yung shipment. And now mga bags, ito na nga. Yung excited ako. Yung PR package. <laughs> I'm part of the PR package. Thank you so much, Anastasia. So much, Norvina. Thank you. Thank you. Um, binili ko talaga yung PR package nila. I just wanna feel the fantasy, you know? The PR package fantasy. Like, like a real booty guru. Mm -hmm. So this is the packaging. It comes in a big box, but of course, I'm not gonna show you that. But when you guys got it, it comes with another big box. Hindi nga siya kasha. Oh, oh. Okay, so it's very pink sa loob, okay? So what's you guys gonna pala yung feeling ng ano, may PR package? Okay, so this whole PR package is retail for $95 and it was a free shipment kasi nga na purchase ko siya sa day na launch niya. So I got it for free shipment. So this PR box package comes with a mirror. So this is the mirror and this mirror is retail for $25. And now the mirror of this is very rhinestone uh, hot pink. I think this is a fuchsia pink or hot pink. Ano ba? Mirror, mirror. Oh, oh, hi. How are you? <laughs> Anastasia Palato. <laughs> it also comes with this fan. So this fan is retail for fifteen dollars. <laughs> I'm actually looking for this kind of um, fan because you know, when it's a setting spray, ka. <sighs> very easy process. Oh, ano? Nasingil niya na sila. Sinasabi ko sa inyo, kung ayaw magbayad, palayasin nyo. <laughs> then it comes with this 
palette. Ayan! The box and the packaging is pretty much the same. Mula siyang pinagkaiba pag binuksan mo. And it's very pink. Typical na packaging ng Anastasia Beverly Hills. Nasa rectangle component. Of course, meron siyang brush dito. Now, tapos na ang ating unboxing. I am just going to do my eyebrows and I will be right back. Okay, mga bex, so let's start with the primers. Let's see kung gaano ka bongga to, ha? Okay, so let's watch this one first. Oh my gosh, umaapaw siya ng bonggang bongga. Ba't gano'n? Lo, hindi siya tumitigil. Medyo ano siya, liquidy. Tigla lang umapaw, so napadami ako. Okay, so naglalagay lang ako dito. Tingnan natin kung nga, oo! Dahil super para siyang maliquid, kailangan mo siya isep ng powder. Kakaiba yung primer na to, ano? Okay, so now let's jump with this eyeshadow. As what I showed you earlier, this is what the shadow looks like and they are stunning! Okay, so in this new Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, there are 14 shades in a mix of a creamy matte and some intense metallic formulas. Now for my left side, I'm gonna swatch this upper part, and for my right side, the bottom part. Tamaba, bottom part. Okay, so now these are their swatches. Okay, so let's talk about this white, okay? So yung white, nahirapan pa kung palabasin yan, okay? So, itong white, medyo hindi ko to bet. One of the colors na love ko dito sa top part na to is this one talaga mga Bex. I like this color. I haven't seen this kind of color yet. Kahit sa ano atang palette ko, wala pa akong ganitong color. Now let's go ahead naman sa bottom. Hmm. Ito, hindi ko bet. However, the rest, we've seen it already. Now, eto na nga, magkakaalaman kung kere itong mga pigment nito, okay? Okay, so now I'm gonna start with this BBDC. And now, I'm gonna pack that in our outer corner, papunta sa ating inner corner. Okay, so now, I'm gonna go with this Unicorn Tribe. I'm going to use the same brush. Tap the excess, and then we're just gonna blend the edges of this color that we just put. And then, we're gonna go back with this color, and then we're just gonna pop it so the crease area natin is really popped out. Okay, so now I'm gonna go with this Takes Us Made. And then we're gonna pop it on top of that light burgundy. And now we're gonna cut our crease using this Jeffree Star's Magic Concealer as a shade na zero. Okay, so now I'm gonna just blend these um, edges, which is the outer, outer corner. Okay, then I'm gonna go with this Brick Road. Okay, okay. Okay, so now I'm gonna go with Believe. And then, siya yung ipanta-touch up natin sa crease. Then, I'm gonna go with this uh, Texas Mane. Then, balikan mo yung yellow. Then, we're gonna clean our brow bone with this white shadow, which is the headliner. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to finish this whole look. Now we'll be right back. Pack! Woo! Now we're gonna go with this Unicorn Tribe. Now this one, I'm gonna put this on my lower lash line. Okay, so I wanna kinda intensify this lower lash line. And now we're going to use this Dreaming. Now, para lumabas lahat ng color, we're gonna use this Takes Us Made. Okay, so nan nanalo yung kulay na nilagay kong blue dun sa upper natin. Para siyang ito yung kulay, but as you guys can see, iba naman yung ginamit natin kulay. Hindi ko bet yung ganyan na parang nag-light na siya. Okay, now to just put something in our inner corner, I'm gonna go with this Inspire. Okay, so now I'm just gonna finish this look. Then, we're gonna go with the lipstick. Okay, so now I need to test some lipsticks and 
This is an FYI. This comes with four shades. Hindi ko na siya isa swatch ng isa isa because we're gonna take forever. But we're gonna try this blossom. You know, ang weird niya. Tsaka ang weird niya sa lips ko. Hey, emphasize niya yung mga bean niya. Anong klase ng lipstick? Ito parang... Promo lang naman ata nila to. Now we're gonna pop some lip gloss. And just to finish this look, I'm gonna spray this Kylie Jenner's setting spray. And syempre, para patihuin natin yan, we're gonna use this fan. Monochromatic ang eksena ng ating look for today. Very pinky, very backdrop ko. <laughs> and if you guys are interested sa mga products na ginamit ko for this video, go follow me on my Instagram because that's where I always upload my videos for my makeup tutorials. Especially sa mga products na hindi ko na re-release and kapag nag-re-review ako sa aking channel. Anyways, mga bags, so andito na tayo sa ating final thoughts where I'm going to tell you if this palette is Becky 5 or Becky 9. So let's start with this primer na to. I'm not really liking this. It's very liquidy. Tapos, hindi ko alam kung bakit nung na-receive ko to, tumutulo siya ng tumutulo kapag binuksan ko. So ayoko na siya buksan. I think bubuksan ko siya pag talagang gagamitin ko. And then, feeling ko ilalabas niya. Siguro sa pag-pack nila nito. Kaso, hindi ko siya rin gusto. Kasi, napaka-liquidy niya. And I think pag ginamit nito, you guys need to set it with a powder. This one, mga Bex, I'm really sorry. I'm going to um, Becky Night. Mm. Now, sa mga lipstick na to, which is nagkukulang siya ng isa, hindi ko rin siya bet. Okay? Trinay ko siya. Ang dami kong trinay sa kanya. Parang feeling ko, laro laruan lang siya. Hindi siya ma-pigment. Tapos, na-emphasize niya yung lines ng lips ko. Kaya, this one is Becky Night. Okay, so let's start with the shade range. This palette is actually not for those people who is not into this kind of colors, this bright pinks, and meron siyang bright yellow. However, if you guys bought this palette, this could actually do some neutral look, which is meron dito sa part na to, sa area ng to, and then meron din dito. If you guys are not into those kind of vibrant colors, this palette could not be for you. Okay, as what you guys could see earlier sa ating swatches, the swatches of this is not really that as good. <laughs> Uh, merong mga parang patchy and chalky. Especially this white one. I was not really living for this white one. It's very different from white shadows na mga na, na experience ko. However, nung, nung nilagay ko na siya sa aking brow bone, it was actually doing fine. I haven't tried like do it on all over my lids yet. So far, yun yung mga hindi ko parang bet. Some of these colors are actually really hard to blend. That one too, mga becks. Um, I was not happy on how I blend these two together. Kasi parang iba siya. Oo, iba siya. Iba siya mag-blend. And parang nahihirapan akong palabasin yung kulay niya. Or siguro sa pag-blend ko lang. Hindi ko alam. Now, the yellow, the yellow shade. Um, it was really vibrant, mga Bex. It's, it's, it's really popping. Kaso you really have to work on it, okay? Um, I love the brushes of it because it helps you actually. Um, similar lang pala siya sa the Riviera, which is that was a packing brush as well. Ang tako. Sabi ko hindi siya packing brushes. The other one, akala ko talaga it was gonna be patchy because when I swatch it. However, when I, when I put it on my lids, it was okay. It, it, it gives me that yellow fantasy that I was actually looking for. And that is the most thing that I was really excited about this palette because of this yellow and then this blue. Now, this blue shadow, which is in the shade Dream It, I am living with it. It's a different color. I don't think I've seen color. I'm not sure what kind of color is this, and I'm not really sure if I've seen this on some of my eyeshadow palettes. I am living with this color. For the purple, earlier when I put it, it was kind of a little bit hard to blend my picks. I'm not gonna lie. When I put it, um, nag-iba yung pananaw ko sa eyeshadow. Chara. Parang nag nahirapan akong i-blend siya. Hindi ko rin alam kung dahil sa look na tinatry kong ikuha. But I was not really actually getting that purple effect for this Believe. 
Hindi ko siya bet. Okay? Nahirapan talaga ako mag-blend kanina. So now, naka-curious ako if the Riviera palette is pretty much the same. And marami sa inyo na curious I know, I know. Kaya naman, eto siya. Kinuha ko yung Riviera palette and pati yung Alisa Edwards palette. Okay, so let me break this down to you, okay? These sales and these headliners are pretty much the same, mga becks. Um, the Supreme and the Costline is the same. The Bahamas and this Texas Made is pretty much the same again. And this back rolls and itong palm nila is the same. This Believe and Canes or Canis, I'm not sure. It's not the same. This is more dark than this one. Then the rest, wala na siyang kaparehas. Now, since nakita niyo yung breakdown, I just really want to suggest that if you guys already have the Riviera palette and you guys actually don't need some of these colors na wala dito sa Riviera palette, you guys could actually skip this palette kasi medyo may kaparehas na siya sa Riviera palette. And that is actually medyo na turn off ako, okay? Kasi nila masyado binago yung nandito. <laughs> Meron na siya dito eh. So, kung gusto niyo kunin to, feeling ko masasayang yung pera nyo. Lalo na kung meron naman na kayong James Charles and meron na kayong um, ibang palette na merong kulay sa loob nito. Okay? And comment down below kung may mga alam din kayong kaparehas niyang palette. However, if you guys are really a big fan of Anastasia Beverly Hills and you guys are living for those yellow, pink, neon, then go ahead, purchase it. But for me, I really suggest to save your money, mga becks. If you guys already have some of the color of this on your collections, skip it, okay? And now, alam ko, gusto nyo malaman if Alisa Edwards' palette is beggified or beckonite. This palette, mga becks, is half-half, okay? I know, ngayon lang ako magsasabi ng half-half. For me kasi, mga becks, na half-half ako, okay? Meron na ako nitong colors na palette. And this one is really hard to blend. Feeling ko I wasted my money because... I already got some of the colors of this. Mawi naman sila sa pigmentation, okay? Sa pigments and then sa pagbiblend. Yung 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 purple nga lang, hindi ko talaga siya best. My looks turns out really good. The white shadow though, I'm not sure if it's really gonna be okay. If it's you know if it's really that popping when you actually put it on your uh, mata na. These two mabex, I'm really living for this. I don't really have fans. Kaya ano nito fan siya? Okay, girl, let's do this. And also, mga bags, isa sa mga nalaman ko, this is a limited edition. If you guys are really a big fan of Aliza Edwards and you guys really want to support her, then bumili kayo. Yes. <laughs> and there you go, mga bags. I hope you guys like this video. And sana nabigyan ko kayo ng konting tricks how to use this palette. And at the same time, napaliwanag ko ng maayos ang mga product na to. Okay? And syempre, bago ang lahat, hindi natin pwede kalimutan ang comment of the day. Comment of the day! Comment of the day! Comment of the day, comment of the day, hey, hey, comment of the day, and eto na sila. Again, thank you so much for the comment and thank you so much for being here. I always wanna say thank you at the end of my video because you guys, you guys boost up my energy. And Shamre, we have a lot of upcoming review, and I think this month, puro review ako. Kaya abangan niyo yan kasi marami marami yung mabas na mga collection for summer, and ito yung ito yung kinalolo ka hang ko eh. Kaya abangan niyo kung ano yung mga ere review natin. And ano ang mga lalabas for this summer collection. And, syempre, i-share nyo to sa mga ABH fans, okay? Sa mga RuPaul Drag Race fans, lalo na mga fans ni Alyssa Edwards. Oo, di ba para akong yung ano, yung init na init na naniningil ng utang. Oo, oh, ano, nagbayad na? Yan ang sinasabi ko sa inyo. Pag-ibaan nyo yan. pag nyo yung building. Oo. And just a disclaimer, hindi ko sinasabing bumili kayo ng mga nire-review ko, okay? Ano lang talaga eh, nako-curious lang talaga ako eh. Gusto ko lang talaga samahan nyo ako kung ano talaga meron dito sa mga lumalabas ng bagong collection ng mga international brands, okay? And if you guys are interested, syempre, I'll, I'll put it down below, okay? The down, the low, the house, down. Ang mga details about this palette. And syempre, if you guys like this video, 
don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you guys are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. Para na mas mabag sa video na lagi gusto ng updated, hit the notification bell button right there. Para sa tuwing upload ko, you guys are always updated. And once again, thank you so much, and see you in my next video. Bye.